show 110, which also is a review show. And the very first thing that we're going to do is do uh, the, what is called the, the, if I can get my words out, the yoga mudra. And we're going to be bending at the hip joints, stretching through the hips and through the lumbar back. If you are unable to go into full lotus or half lotus, sitting cross-ankled is perfectly fine. The main purpose to remember is that you will be bending at your hip joints. You will not be bending from the waist. Uh, I will go into the full lotus position. So assume the leg position of your choice, getting to the very front part of your sitting bones, bringing your arms back and interlacing your fingers. Sit up very, very tall and inhale through the nose. Now exhale and you lead with the chin. You bend forward at the hip joints. Empty the air through the nose softly, softly. Stretch your stomach over your legs. Try to put your forehead on the floor and bring your arms up. Open your chest, open your shoulders. Pick up your head, line your neck up to your spine. Come up out of the hip joints, out of your hip joints, not out of the waist. And ease out of your position. Rub your ankle, your calf, and your knee, both sides ankle, calf, and knee. And now start with the left foot up first. Way up high, right foot over or under or Indian style. Try to get your knees down to the floor, lengthen up your spine, get to the front part of your sitting bones, arms back, interlace your fingers, strap an imaginary yardstick to your spine in the back of your head, chin up, inhale, Exhale, fold forward, lead with your chin, bend at the hip joints. Bend at your hip joints. Try to stretch your stomach over your legs. Head down, arms way high. Lift up your head, line your neck up to your spine. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale. Ease out of your position. And again, just a quick little rub around your ankle. Never hold a posture if it hurts. Never, never do that. Other side. And come up onto your hands and knees for the combination of the camel and the cat. So we'll start with the cat. Hands and knees pushing into the floor. Arch your spine. Lift your chin up. Inhale. Exhale, angry cat. Draw your navel to your backbone. Push your spine to the ceiling. Lengthen out your arms. Stretch deeply. Inhale, sway into a deep arch. Exhale, one more time. Going way, way up. Drop your head between your arms. Inhale, coming up onto your knees. And separate your knees a little bit. Exhale, arch your back. Be very cautious. Put your hands on your heels and face the ceiling. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, down. Knees closer together. Inhale, chin up, sway. Exhale, round out. This is wonderful, wonderful for your back. Inhale, up onto your knees. And exhale, arch your back. And push up. Down onto your hands and knees. Sit on your heels. Stretch through the lower back. Stretch out. Forehead on the floor. Rotate your weight forward. And come down onto your legs. Bend your elbow. Put your chest and your forehead down. We're going to do the full cobra. Palms flat on the floor. Glide them well beneath your shoulders so your elbows are up in the air. Forehead down. Inhale, skim the forehead, nose, chin up. Push up, way up, lower your shoulders. Be cautious about how high you come up. Bend your elbows as much as you need. Ease back down. 
Relax your back. And again, forehead down, inhale. Skin the forehead, nose, chin up. Lower your shoulders, lengthen your neck, open your chest. Breathe softly. And ease back down again. One last time. Inhale. Skin the forehead, nose, chin up. Push up. Again, be cautious. You may even want to have your elbows really bent. It just depends on what your body is willing to do. And exhale. Come back up onto your knees. Walk your knees towards your hands. Sit on your heels and fold forward to stretch through the low back. This is the pose of the child. Relax your lumbar back. And then come back up again. And we're going to come to do the cradled foot. So you sit and you bring your right foot underneath you just to get it out of the way. Bring your left foot up, eye level. Don't you bring your head down to your foot. You need to bring your foot up to your head slowly coax, coax, and pull, and try to get the toe up to your ear. Chin up, feel the stretch through the back of your leg, and ease down, and change. Right foot up, eye level or higher, not down here, don't come down to it. Make sure you're bringing it up, bring it up, all the way up. And down and change. Foot way up, tighten up your stomach, pull the toe toward you and change. One last time. Foot up, pull up now, pull, pull in and hold. Breathe softly and down. Cross your ankles because we're going to stand up. Bring your feet in very close to your torso. Imagine again you've got the tray with my rock crystal stemware. You don't want to drop it. You want to lift the tray up, lean it forward. That's the only way you're going to get the weight shifted over to your feet. Up, forward, and stand up. For the lower back, separate your feet a very good distance apart. Circular motion, very, very slow. Start by going to your right, not deeply, not deeply. Get your mind into your back as you slowly come forward. You want to bring your torso over horizontal direction toward the floor, but you're certainly not horizontal to the floor yet. Going over to the left, pay attention, feel what you're doing in your waistline, slowly coming across, a slight arch in your back, a slight arch. Be very cautious as you go across through the middle of your back now, feel that. I've, I mentioned this before, if you've got a naggy little back ache and you can't get down on the floor in order to work out the yoga poses. You might try to do this. You can go into some private room somewhere, a restroom, whatever, and you will be amazed. Just a very gentle, slow, but deep stretch through the muscles in your torso, the stomach, the side, and the back, particularly on the back arches. Normally, when you get a naggy low back ache, you need to do a deep arch to your back to relax those muscles. Uh, believe me, it works faster than any medication taken by mouth. You don't want to medicate if you don't have to. All right, coming farther toward the floor, coming lower. Getting your circles wider. Circles are going wider. Arching now more. All the way around. You're feeling more of the stretch now to the inner thigh. Stretching deeply down to your side. Coming forward. Now you get your torso horizontal to the floor. Glide it around, glide around, stretch deeply to your left. Arch your back, arch your back, arch back, way back. Come to the center and up. Now we're going to go the other way. <laughs> so start by going to your left just a little bit, just a little bit, small little circles, small circles. We can go a little bit faster this time around because we've already stretched out all those muscles. But you need to always counter posture. You go one way, then you absolutely must go the other. Slowly making your circles larger. Let's get rid of that naggy back. Coming around, coming around. 
stretching more deeply into the side, arching more through your back, coming over to your left, get your mind totally into that low back, your lumbar back, coming farther forward now, farther forward, farther forward, all the way over, begin a deep stretch now to your right, deep stretch, begin to arch, go back, be careful, pay attention, arching to your back, rotating over to the left, Go deeply, go deeply to your left, deep, deep. All right, slowly come forward, rotate your shoulder forward. Have your body horizontal to the floor, stretching over all the way over to the right and coming back up again. Good, that should help you get rid of that backache. Cross your ankles, try not to crash, ease down. Use your quads, ease down, ease down to a sitting position. Put the soles of your feet together. We're going to lift and tilt. And again, go into a gentle forward bend to stretch any tightness that you still may have in the low back. Always remember to do the clam. When you do anything at all with your back, if you're doing any back arches, finish up by going into the clam, stretching out that tension. Come back up. And we're going to stretch out onto your side. Right arm straight out. Put your left hand in front of you for balance. Bend the lower knee, bring your right leg straight up, straight up, point your toe, point your toe, and bring it down. You remember we talked about the importance of pointing the toe. Leg up, point your toe, and down. If you point your toe, it makes you work harder. Both legs straight, straight in line with your spine. Bring both legs up, a good bit harder to do. And down. Both legs up, and down down. Sit up. Roll over. And right leg up. Point your toe. And lower. Tighten up your stomach. Leg up. Point your toe. And lower. Okay, keep your legs lined up to your spine. Both legs up. Lower. Up. Lower and relax. Come to the forward position, stretch. Take care. Bye. To purchase a copy of Priscilla's Yoga Stretches for Beginners, program number 012 102, please call 1 800 553 7752 or write to the address on your screen.